10 o'clock and we've had to abandon our little quest for St. Francis for now. Um, just with not sure what the wind's going to do later and if we can get back. So we're going to head towards Goat. Um, it's really warm right now, I'm sweating bullets. Mm -hmm. But there's meant to be a southerly coming in, probably a bit of a sea breeze uh, in about an hour or so. So about mm. oh, 30 odd k's today I think, can't remember. These are short-tailed shearwaters, also known as mutton birds, and these guys have come all the way from the Bering Sea, which is between Alaska and Russia. And they migrate here in summer and they breed on these islands, but during the day they hang out here and I guess they feed, and then at night time they return to the nest. The sound is just amazing. Hopefully we can get a little closer. Wow. Thanks for checking us. Nah, all good. It. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> so we've made it to Flinders Reef. Possibly second people to ever make it here by kayak. Not really much reason to come here other than, I guess, to say we've been here. It's just a big slab of rock and messy water. Bigger. Come right to the east coast of Evans, and as you can see, there are no friendly uh, landings for a glass boat at least. But, um... And this is the little uh, cove on that northeastern side of Evans. So, uh, you know, not very conducive for camping. Quite a pretty spot, just no sand. It's just how hot it is today. Wow, I think it's about 38 back in Adelaide today. So we've gone down this end so that we can hide from the sun sooner rather than later. And it's a bit less windy here too.
Well, true to this summer, we've had to stay on go to second night because they're these big southerlies, 25 knot southerlies are hooting through and it's very interesting. It's brought all this moisture and it's a really low level cloud. It looks wintry out there, yet it's still about 25 degrees. It's pretty warm still. No fish yet though. So, and I don't know how much snorkeling I'll do today. But so last night here and then we'll catch the southerlies all the way back to Sejuna out there tomorrow. The last night out, we've just had to move the tent further up because last night it came lapping at the edges of the tarp and it's coming up another 20 centimetres in height so just retreating up the beach a bit more. It's hard to believe though because it's all the way down there and it stayed there all day and then at night time it comes way up. Just a funny little tide cycle we're in now. Oh, last night. Well, the tide still got reasonably close. But we stayed dry. Last morning, about 24k drop back to Juno out there. She's already <laughs> <laughs> all rugged up. But last morning we've had five nights out. It's been very relaxing really. I haven't gotten that far. But um, we'll head off over to St. Peter's around the corner and into Sejuna now and hopefully find a ride back to our car <laughs> before too long. Well, it would have been pretty dicey coming back from Francis today. And we're in sheltered waters here, so to speak. And it's pretty rough. It would have been a beam been wind at 17 to 20 knots and big seas so right cool in the end just trying to get ourselves a bit of a better angle here to cross from Goat to St Peter's um, so we have more wind assistance instead of getting blown out into the bay there so hopefully we'll turn and run with it soon found a lift thanks to the legend Rob so if you ever watch this mate thank you so very much you're a game game changer lifesaver but now we're gonna push on maybe get to Kimber for dinner and then see how we go from there but, uh, yeah. cool little trip I guess yeah looking forward to seeing the puppy and the cat yeah, yeah. thanks Rob yeah. 